Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Berserker League Draft Order Selection Show. Here with me today are Luke and Rob on commentary. My name is Jason. I will be doing your play-by-play as we decide the draft order for our Berserker League 2021 season. Any thoughts going into this, Luke or Rob? Yeah! <laughs> I feel like this is going to be quite a competition. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how, this. how In this fact, goes. I love marble sports so much that I wish there was a way that we can incorporate marbles every week into this competition. Maybe there is, Rob. Maybe there is. The wheel, as you know, takes all sorts of forms. The wheel is everything. The wheel is not just a wheel. Some may even, at some point, try to call it a die, like we're rolling dice, which is, you know, insane. But well, wheel, that doesn't make any sense. No, it makes no sense. But people, people often don't make sense, as we say. We live in this world. Uh, but now let's meet our competitors, our team managers for the 2021 Berserker League season. Well, and when I say meet, I'm going to read off their names. Up first, Sully the Champ Sullivan. The, the Champ? Oh, I, I guess the Champ. Oh, I'm sorry, say, like Sully the, the Champ. The Champ? You didn't. Sullivan. You didn't. Yeah. Uh, you didn't Does mention it, dinosaur claws. Oh, okay. yeah, there, yeah. There's yeah, a question there. mark in there, at least I believe. Absolutely. And next, Rob the Swagmaster Colpine. He's been talking a lot on uh, on uh, Discord. I, I'm not sure what, where his, his head's at right now. Probably on Discord, talking a lot. Probably. Up next, Steve. Anita is actually running my team, Lipton. I wouldn't expect much success from Steve this year. But Anita. Th- then again, then again, I think picking Anita. up. Picking yes, up Anita as, as a co-manager, him. picking up Anita as a co-manager could really help him. I don't think he'd, he wasn't very strong in the first year, so we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, we'll see. Anita yeah. can hold and eat a sandwich in one hand and snap your neck with the other hand. While she's catching a salmon with her feet. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, you, you, I'll, you I'll don't just want say, to underestimate her. I'll just say, if you want to compare 2019, Steve's 2019 chances to 2021, I mean, before Anita is, my, is running my team was his nickname, it was no moves you know, zero roster moves Lipton. So there you go. The reason Steve is in the competition is because we like him. Otherwise, we would have booted him. (laughs) We like Steve a lot, yes. Speaking of people we like, up next, James, the Black Scorpion, Brazil. Yes, yes, the Black Scorpion. The Black Scorpion, who just had a baby girl, who has become Mm -hmm. his entire world, and I hope that this does not affect his performance in the Berserker League in 2021. We appreciate yes, of course, family. We have, we're talking important. about James Cunningham, not James Rizzi. So we'll insert that after. So just assume we. In, I edited that and moved it to after Cunningham. But I thought you said Cunningham. No, I said Rizzi. Okay. Well, I don't he's get paid for scorpion. this job. He's the Black Cunningham is definitely not the Black Scorpion. No, he's Scooby Dooby Cunningham. Okay. All right. All right. I'm resetting. I'm getting yes. my mindset around James yes. Rizzi. I mean, James Black, yeah. Black the, and the Black Scorpion, of course, just like the Black Mama gave Mama Mamba gave himself his own nickname. He'll get other nicknames this year, Jason. Yeah. Some say he floats like a butterfly and stings like uh, butterfly. Some other some other animal that stings. A Speaking of nicknames, scorpion. up next, Scott Fresh Meat Jenkins. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Okay. And now, Jonathan, the dark gray scorpion echoes. Sometimes it's hard to tell them apart from Brzee, actually. Kind of like getting the two Jameses confused. Good point, good point. I don't know who this is. Patrick, Lord Chaos Moffat is our next competitor. Moffat, who does out on the the plains or whatever you call the area that he uh, manages and, and stalks, he actually does find scorpions. So I'd be okay if we nicknamed him another type of scorpion. How about the scorpion finder? Or the waterfowl manager. manager. Yeah. And speaking of waterfowl, <laughs> it's Miller and the Catfish coming to TNT this fall. I would expect 16th place in this one, Jason. I don't know. The Catfish yeah. is pulling a lot of weight in this t- in this duo. I actually don't know who the cat... Oh, wait. Is this Red red Beard Catfish? Yes. Thanks for paying attention to what we're doing, Rob. Oh, okay. So, John has a chance then this year to not take 16th place. 
<laughs> and speaking of 16th place, it's Joshua, second place, Graham. He, uh, I think he's he's struggled a little bit this, this off season and a half with the fact that he didn't quite come in first to a team that didn't quite come in first. Would yeah. you say he's haunted by his previous performance? I, I, I think he wakes up nightly screaming. Okay. Yeah. I expect him to bring that energy into this season. A lot of screaming is what I mean. Also, he has a baby, so he wakes up to screaming nightly. Yes. We like when people care enough to be disturbed, um, dissociated, not violent, but but if it infects most of the aspects of their lives. Yeah, I expect him to come on strong this year. Yeah. And now... Or, it's or just fall ahead. apart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, either way. Up next, it's Jeff... Gabe Kaplan is my co-pilot, Turner. I can't say anything about bad about Jeff. Jeff's actually a really nice guy. If you find him on Twitter and you see any comment, it's usually supporting someone. So yes, I kind of like hope he does well. Yes. We like all these people, the ones that we know. And the nod to the Battle of the Network Stars is nice. Yes, nice, nice yeah. touch, nice touch. Because that's actually, if you wanted to think about the Berserker com uh, competition, it's one of two things. It mm -hmm. kind of is like a game show, and it also kind of is like Battle of the Network Stars. And kind of Calvin Ball. Well, Agreed. there are aspects of it that become Calvin Ballish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Our next but, but at the same point, we also need him to change his name because you can't keep the same name as the previous time we've done this. Sure. Oh, there's going to be big penalties for that. I would, yeah, I in would fact, get on that. Anyone that still has their, their name in ESPN, this unchanged by the time the draft starts that might be trouble for you i also would look be on the lookout for your nickname being chosen for you and locked at some point during the season oh for your team name yes yes and speaking of that it's david virginia tech hokey click help me out here ecclesiastic clip yeah clip <laughs> clip <laughs> clepto man you, clip clepsis you know, you, you nailed it. Oh man, David K. David K. from Virginia Tech. <laughs> it's Hokey David K. That's for life, man. Yeah, uh, he's a friend of yours, right, Luke? So you should have insight on on his on his uh, performance this year, I would think. Yeah, he, uh, I'm a little bit worried about how nice he is. So oh, we'll see how that turns out. Oh, David, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, David. That's I, gonna I, bite I, you I, in I, the I ass. Apologize. Uh, <laughs> our next competitor, speaking of people Luke knows, is Robert. <laughs> I wild Arcadia appears regal. Are these just all Luke's neighbors? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if they even know what's going on, so we'll see how this turns out. Perfect. Speaking of people that don't know what's going on, it's Joe Dr. Marshmallow Mayhan. I think I'm saying your name right. I got to tell you, this is my uh, leader in the clubhouse on nicknames. Dr. Marshmallow. Yes. 100% in. Stepped into the uh, Discord with Dr. Marshmallow. Just loved it. Love it from the Marshmallow Mayhan. Yes. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I don't love the idea of someone putting doctor in front of their nickname like that. Mm. I can understand that. It's not a that. big thing for me. Professional yeah. jealousy. Yeah, there you go. And next is Maurice, Nats Guy DC Werner. That's not good enough. Nats Guy DC. Yeah, we got to come up with something better. Yeah, Fresh Meat Part 2. That's what. But thank that's you for what I think we have going on. Yes. And finally, <laughs> our 16th competitor this year, rounding out our teams in the 2021 season, is Jim. I used to be on the secret committee, Young. Whoa, whoa! Are we revealing some hidden knowledge here? Uh, yes, we are. We are ratting him out. He's a snitch. Go get him, boys. Yep. Fresh meat, real fresh meat. Yes. Fresh me three. We are thrilled to have all these people in our league this year, and now we need to determine the draft order. Still pretty overwhelming, but let's do this anyway. Yeah. So how we're going to do this is by the wheel taking the form of a marble race in this draft order selection. So good luck to everyone. Gentlemen, start your engines. Is that what they say? I believe so. In marble racing, certainly. Yes. Ready? And we're rolling. That's what they say. Boom. There we go. And we're off. With Robert Mangle taking a kingly lead at the very beginning. Yeah, uh, everybody's navigating pretty well. Everybody's navigating pretty well, though, in Grandma's sweater. Wait, wait, wait. We have a rogue marble. Who is this? It's an unnamed oh, no. marble. 
<laughs> what is happening? The secret is, Marvel is out the is, game. <laughs> I don't know if this, this is, is not going to work. I don't know if this is going to be sanctioned by the Marvel Racing League. Josh, we might have Graham and Patrick Moffat. Do, do we need to restart second. this race? We'll see. Well, we were, <laughs> we're, we're down into the, I, I think we have to. This isn't... <laughs> It's <laughs> ridiculous. Not sure what happened right there. Let's try again. I don't know what happened. Slippery slopes. If you see it, let me know. There it is. I feel like... Max number player 16. Simulation. I feel like our attempts at, at simulating this has become a slippery slope down. Yes. Yes, it, Hey-o! Has. Yes, it has. That's what we pay him for. <laughs> and Rob, you do the honor of calling us, calling our start again. And we're rolling. Except we're flying and falling out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, we're falling through, what did you say, Luke? Grandma's sweater? <laughs> Grandma's sweater. Grandma's sweater. And first out of Grandma's sweater is Joe Mahan, followed closely by Patrick Moffat and David. No, the leader is once again unmarked. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? No, you cannot have a leader. What? What is happening? He's in first. We've got, is that Moffat? Oh, I know what these are. No. I know what these are. These are. What? These are ghost marbles from the previous race that we ran to test this out. Are you serious? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're, we're we're coming down the main straightaway with the exploding coal nuggets. Yeah. Down yeah. into the, what would you call this area, Jason? The grinder. That's pretty good. I like that counterclockwise uh, motion by these little pins that seem to be inserted into the snow. I actually, uh -oh. I actually think the right tactic here is, is to go up the slope and come straight back down if, uh -huh. you, if you can help it. Uh -huh. I think you, you wanna... don't want to you don't want to get in the, the, the circular loop because centrifugal force will just keep you keep well, you going. Well, Z just hold and won it and came down the slope right in. Colpine well, far, far, far through. out in the league at this point. In the, in the league. Oh, I bet he's stuck a knife in somebody's back to get there. 100%. Oh, we got a everyone long jam for second place. Everyone else is is stuck. There's debris is, on the course. This oh, he like sabotaged oh. the race. Oh, yeah. An so Indiana cool. Jones yes. situation right behind year. them. <laughs> Indiana Jones Absolutely. situation right behind there them. There is nothing Rob Colpeen won't do to win this league. That is true. And he's still lost. So what does that tell you? Colpeen. Oh, Colpeen, is, his tricks have come back to bite him. As Colpeen oh, runs Colpeen into a, has run into a roadblock. That's, that's a shame. Oh, what? Oh, what? the debris. It, it, it was magically cleared. He's hacking into the system, I think. Oh, oh, this guy is just dirtier than dirt. After All right, he is. He is oh, <laughs> the stalactites are falling. Just like that Kiss song. Yeah. That's a that's a song. Yeah. Colpine once again runs into a, a roadblock. Yeah, the what? challenge oh, of being first is, is that you're going to have to clear a lot of that debris. Oh, there goes a rock. Oh! <laughs> Pull off the side. <laughs> Danger, danger, danger. Be Where the Boy, hell is Eccles? What Col is Eccles doing? Colpine is far in the lead. Eccles far behind. Yeah, this isn't even close. Let's zoom out. This Colpine's got a huge view. lead. Lip this Lipton's looking good with a solid second place here. In second place, yeah, Graham coming in third. in third. It's not all about first place. I think that that's important. Yeah. But then uh, again, but we don't even, we don't even know what the, the scoring settings are for the first week. No, not yet. To be determined. So are well, you trying to acquire, you know, Saquon Barkley? Are you trying to get Brett Kern? We don't have any idea. Who can say? Marquez oh, Valdez Colpine. Pantling? Colpine, the but, clean in house, already down into the tri-fork here. Way the, the trick oh. here through this through this uh, area is you gotta you gotta work oh, your way down Moffitt. slowly so you don't fall. Oh Moffitt! Oh, oh, runs right by that. him! Oh, oh forget Patrick slow! How about just blowing competitor. past everybody? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, uh, yeah, he's stuck in the in the Hershey Kisses. Here. Oh, here's where, yeah, the Hershey Kiss Forest. This is where. Oh, what is Colpine doing? He's trying to go over them. Mm, that's a shame. This I don't, where, I don't uh, like this. I don't like this strategy. Jim Young coming in close up behind. This him doesn't there. seem oh. like a, a smart tactic. It looks. You you need to take a line that that avoids as many of these as possible, not run straight into them. Moffat's doing the same thing. It's like yeah. It's no, like their complacency. He's, There's complacency uh, in this first and second place positions here. Nobody really wants to win is what I'm getting out of this. Uh oh. Well, I mean, look at the rest of the competition. Yeah, that's true. Jonathan Eccles, though. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing, Jonathan Eccles? Electric Eccles is not getting it done. You no, don't want to come not. down the left yeah. or the right. You want to come down the center. Yes. Moffat yeah. was the only one who was able to figure Moffitt that out. Moffat and Colpian already up the anti-gravity one. Oh, here we oh. go. Down, down, down the, the ski slope. jump. Will Moffat get it in? Oh, Moffat. Moffat. Do that. Oh. 
Oh, no, he's got it. You gotta regulate your speed. Oh no! Uh oh, here comes Juice. Oh, here comes Juice. Is he gonna dead. make a place? Yes. Oh, Joe, man, with man. 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 First. oh the marshmallow man. Oh, see you later, Jimmy. Oh, he's so he's gone. Oh, he's oh, no. He's gone. Oh no! This is a shame. <laughs> I think we probably should have announced ahead of time that if you fall off, if you don't finish. I don't know that I would call this a shame, Jason. You have to auto-pick in the first round of the draft. What a turn of events. Yes. I did not see this. Oh, Echo, oh, Echo. Oh, Echo. Echo. Oh, my God. Echo's At least you didn't to come in last. Second to last. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, the kleptomaniac. Uh, Here he comes. Does he hit? He made it. He did make it. So The Joe marshmallow mayhem. Oh. oh, Dr. Dr. Marshmallow, Marshmallow. the number one pick. Yes. That was exhilarating. Yes, he is the yeah. one that we we all chose at the beginning that we said we thought was going to win. Like, we had seen this. We actually hadn't well, seen this. This was a fresh run. I thought he deserved to win. Yeah. Oh, but... Yeah, just, I, well, I, I feel like Moffat and, and Copian kind of... They, they were lackadaisical at the end there. They weren't yeah. really taking it seriously with that lead. Yeah. And it, it, it showed in the end when they just... Didn't have the right amount of steam heading into the ski jump. This no. is correct. So for our draft order this year will be in first winning the marble relay is, or I'm sorry, coming up on the spin of the wheel is Joe Mahan. Second. You know, I, I do have to say Joe, Joe Mahan, uh, yeah. you know, that this is the type of guy that you really want to see, you know, in a, in a berserker league, the type of person that would put the nickname doctor at the front of their name. That's, you know, that's that's how I feel about it. That's quite the reversal of fortune you did on that. Uh, I don't know, sure. Okay. Uh, in third, Steve Lipton, or as we really know, Anita. Uh, in fourth, Jeff Turner. Fifth, Scott Jenkins. Sixth, James Cunningham. Seventh, James Brzee. Black Scorpion. Putting them two back to back is going to be tough for you, I know, to dis to differentiate during the draft, Rob. But uh, a James we'll, is a James. We'll try to help you out. Uh, eighth, Rob Regal. Ninth, Josh. Second place, Graham. Going against his nickname. Tenth, David Klep. Klep Trapeze. Uh, Klepton. Yes. Eleventh, Jonathan Eccles. Twelfth, Maurice Warner. Or Grey Scorpion. Yes. <laughs> Tw wait. Eleventh, twelfth. Thirteenth, Sully the Champ. Sullivan. The Champ? Yeah. Lucky 13th? number 13. Yeah. Fourteenth mm, yeah. is that, Jim Young. That sounds like an omen. Yeah. 15th, Patrick <laughs> Lord Chaos Moffat. And bringing up the rear in the draft, Miller and the Catfish. Not unexpected. Canceled. Coming to TNT this fall. Canceled I believe I had season. that. Entertainment Tonight says it's a blast. Yeah, watch it. So the way the Team Night Finishers will end up is they, do, they have to auto-pick at the first round. But after that, they will draft in this order. That seemed fair if to Sully had if Sully had won this race, I was going to suggest that everybody convert their name. So uh, like Lippy Lipton, Colpy Colpine, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Joey, Joey Mahan, Robbie Colpine, Jeffy Turner, Scotty, Werney, Jenkins, Werner, Jamie, Eckley Eccles. Yeah, we could do that. Clip, Clippy, Clip, Clip to Clip in and Wits. Any other comments before we wrap up this draft selection I, show? I I don't know. I'm I'm sort of in favor of letting them draft their team, but we'll 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 talk it out. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. What's less work for us? Letting them draft their team. Let him, let's let them do it. Let's do it. And good luck to all our competitors in this 2021 season of the Berserker League. And we're rolling. Where were you five minutes ago? I'm practicing that so I can take over from for Greg Woods on uh, Jelly's Marble League. Oh, Ooh. I'm That's I'm way into it. And we're rolling. Maybe you'll remember the names of the marbles. Which ones go with which? And we're rolling.